Hello and welcome to Mac Retrospective. I'm Jacob and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of this fabulous Apple Newton Message Pad 2000. In its original box, uh, supposedly all the contents are there. This is one of the like more advanced packages that includes the uh, dock for it or like keyboard and some other stuff. I actually don't have much of a idea of everything included, but I know it's going to be cool. This is one of the last models of Newton that was released. Uh, I believe this model was from 97 and the last release was in 98. Uh, so right at the end of its lifespan. Well, let's get into it. Well, it looks to me like everything's just kind of thrown in here. <laughs> uh, we have some paper. Something's going flying. Okay, maybe I should do this a little slower. Some paper to protect it in shipping. We have a like stainless steel stylus. It's rather, I, I, it's kind of on the small side. I think it goes in the device itself and just fell out. I'm not sure. We have the keyboard. I knocked it on the floor. Oh no. We have the keyboard for the Newton. Uh, you can just use its uh, rather infamous handwriting recognition, but if you're doing some more higher end productivity work or spreadsheets or anything like that, you're going to want a keyboard. As for how good this keyboard would be, it's not. It's, it, it's really terrible. But I suppose it's better than no keyboard. And it is quite small, so it's not so bad throwing it in a bag to take with you. I'm not sure what type of DIN connector it uses. It kind of looks like ADB, so I wonder if you could use this on a normal Mac and look really ridiculous. Uh, let's see, what's next? We have some uh, warranty information. Very nice. And some warnings, your software license, your, your legal stuff. Next we have a dongle. Some sort of DIN connector to ADB. So I guess you can plug your normal uh, mouse and keyboard in using this to a proprietary connector. I think that's proprietary. I don't recognize it. We have an empty bag, my favorite part so far. Uh, we have user's guide to action names. Uh, some sort of software for the Newton that comes packaged with it. I don't know. I think it's like contacts and stuff. I, I honestly don't know. If you guys do know, please let me know because this is the first time I've ever uh, interacted with a Newton whatsoever. So it's kind of a... Uh, new area for me. Next we have a very hard to get out of bag. Meet the relatives. Oh goody. Hey, you just spent, I don't know how much this thing retailed for a couple hundred dollars at least. Let's just say 700. You can let me know if I'm wrong, right or wrong. Uh, you spent a couple hundred dollars. Here's how you can spend more money with us. You get memory upgrades, you get a whole bunch of different PC, uh, PCMCIA expansion cards, uh, wireless functionality, because this thing, you know, doesn't come with that prepackaged in, floppy disk software for your Mac, Newton information. There's so many things in here. It's really different from modern Apple, where you get nothing in the box, not even a headphone jack. Um, just more information about how to use the Newton. Speaking of information about how to use your new Newton, geez. Okay. That is a huge manual. I suppose uh, touchscreen devices weren't exactly as intuitive as they are now, and most people weren't familiar with them. You know, uh, I don't think I've ever even read a manual for a smartphone before. Uh, and it comes with a Apple support card so you can call them to complain about your Newton. Uh, please do not take this serial code. Uh, if you do, we won't be able to get tech support for our Newton. 
Uh, let's save the actual device. So next we have a like nice carrying case for the Newton. It's made of like a fake leather material and just a piece of metal in it. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to keep it in it. I don't know though. I guess I have to read the manual. I'll set the Newton itself to the side while appreciating how heavy it is. Uh, here's the power adapter for it. And it's pretty basic looking, nothing. I keep knocking the stockings off. It's very rolly. Some more empty bags that clearly were supposed to house some of this stuff, but were just thrown in here kind of haphazardly. We have a carrying case for the keyboard. Kind of makes me wonder why then just like make a bag that held both. I'm sure they did for an additional $50 or whatever. Uh, another empty bag. Is there anything else in here? No, the box is empty. So let's take a quick look at the Newton. Oh, we are so spoiled these days. Um, there is an expansion card in here and we'll take a look at that as well. Where does the stylus go? Is that, there we go, okay. And it does actually block the stylus in. That's quite nice. That's okay. So the flap that's supposed to automatically open it up does not work. So I have to do it manually. Uh, the screen is actually pretty big. Comparing it to a modern smartphone, that's not that crazy of a difference in size. So I suppose that's not so bad. So we can do the, uh, grab the stylus, write out on it. I'm near certain the battery on this thing is dead. Uh, so is, where's the power button? I want to check now. Oh yeah, that is dead. I'm not surprised. But we can still do the classic B, up Bart and it'll read eat up eat eat what is it eat up Martha yes I got it right okay my Simpsons trivia is on point uh, you have your connector at the top as well as your power connector that stylus is actually really satisfying to uh, pull out you have an IR connector so you can connect wirelessly to things uh, and that PCMCIA card, let's see, what is it? It is a two megabyte expansion card. We saw that in the buy more of our stuff guide. Uh, so this is, oh, it's flash storage. So it's not RAM, it's storage. So you get two whole megabytes of additional space to save your documents on this card. That's wonderful. I believe it has four megabytes uh, internal, so that's six whole megabytes to store your information. What a, what a age to be alive. And that's it. Uh, I believe there's another slot towards the bottom here. Yeah, let's see. Okay, there's a lock on it. How does the lock work? I do not, oh, it's jammed. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, it is jammed. I think you have to actually take some parts of it off to get to the, <laughs> that. Uh, this is cool though. I'm looking forward to doing some other videos featuring the Newton. See what you can do with it in 2019. Is it worth carrying this almost two pound behemoth around with you? If you guys wanna, want us to uh, find out, you can leave a comment down below. You can let us know if there's any fun software for the Newton that you'd recommend. Uh, and that's really all I have. So. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss more unboxing videos. We've got some really cool uh, Macintosh products we're going to be showing off in the future, so you don't want to miss that. And please make sure to let us know down in the comments what other products you'd like to see us do unboxings for. And I will see you guys next time.